Stampers, Deb Felder here, your Fun Stampers Journey Coach. And today, I am getting you ready for the holidays. Yep, we are going to start our holiday cards. The reason I want to get going on this one is because this stamp set is part of the, <clears throat> excuse me, part of the Bloom Box. This is the August 2016 Bloom Box. You know what Bloom Boxes are and how exciting they are to get them in the mail. They do come first class, so shortly after the first of the month, you receive your Bloom Box. Alright, so in this set right here, we have the Great Outdoor stamp set. It will be available um, come December, I believe it is, um, but that's going to be a little bit late to do your holiday cards. So I call these the little deadheads, and um, I want to make sure that you can get the most out of them. It's a great man set, and so I'm going to take this little guy right here and make it into our Christmas card. So for today, uh, let me just show you the cards in the, the bloom box, which are really kind of nice for a guy <clears throat> or any gal that likes to, to hunt. Um, go wild. Okay, here's one. And then we have, this one is one of my favorites, the Rustic Greetings. And um, like I said, it's a great card for any masculine um, card that you need. And then here you go, Heads You Win. And then last but not least, we have the Three Mounted Heads. We could have even um, done that one again and popped it up. Um, I ended up using my pan pastels to color these because I think that they came out so very pretty. You could also use your blender infusion, you could use um, your uh, new uh, watercolor pencils or your um, pure color pencils, but I decided to use the pan pastels and I'm going to show you on um, this one right here how I did that. Um, I'm just in love with the pan pastels. So those are, the, those are some of the cards, those are the cards that are in the bloom box and this is the card that we're going to do um, today. It's just absolutely adorable. I used on this card our tinsel trim, which is very, very easy to work with, very very soft um, and very pliable, very very easy to work with, okay? So we're gonna use that. And then um, we're also, I, on this card, I also used our, our little mini jingle bells. And they're perfect sizes for um, cards, um, little tiny guys that fit just absolutely perfect on um, our cards that we make. Now, you can also add, um, if you wanted to, some of our pom-pom minis, and um, I just thought maybe a little uh, Rudolph nose right there might be in store, um, but you can you can jazz it up or um, jazz it down any way that you want. I, I'm going to take and show you a couple different things. So let's grab our cardstock, and this is our top layer right here, and I'm just going to stamp with uh, the dark roast. I'm going to stamp the little head. All right, so take our our ink to our stamp. Always do that. It's just a lot easier. You can see where you've stamped. You can see where you've missed. And that's the most important thing. Again, with our bloom boxes, we have all of the instructions. I love because in the beginning of the book, um, they also have um, really neat little tips and tricks um, in the front. You also get um, a uh, website or a, a web, yeah, a website that also gives you um, some more um, ideas for the projects in this kit. All right, so getting back to our little um, our little guy right here, I'm just going to ink him up and stamp him uh, more toward the top because I've got my greeting to go on there. Now this one I'm going to change up just a little bit and I'll show you as we go along. Now the next thing that you need to do, and I've already done this, is you need to stamp it on another piece of cardstock, all right, because we need to have a second set of antlers. I don't know if you realize it or not, but these are popped up, <clears throat> excuse me, these are popped up right here. Um, so we're going to cut out these little antlers. Now that's not anything that you have to do. It just gives more dimension to your cards and that gives it that wow factor. All right. So we have this stamp. We might as well take and um, grab our pomegranate splash and do the greetings. Now this greeting is different than this greeting. Okay. Um, I'm going to use the rustic greetings because it is a greeting card. Um, and then if I don't want to use it for Christmas, I don't have to. I don't have to put all the little bling on it. But the rustic greetings also goes with the Christmas um, with the Christmas theme that we have going on here. The holiday, happy holidays I got from um, a stamp set that is in the holiday mini and remember that's only good until the end of September. October 1st we have a new mini coming out so if you like any of the stamps in that one you better make sure you get them now because um, you want to make sure that you don't lose out on them okay because once they're gone they're gone. Now I'm just going to stamp the uh, rustic greetings right underneath his head all right, so we have our rustic greetings, and let's put that aside. And now we're going to start to color. So I'm going to bring in two of my pan pastels, and they're from the Mother Nature collection. 
and I'm going to start with the lighter of the two. All right, this looks like pumpkin bread to me, so we're going to start with the pumpkin bread, and we're going to take, and I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of um, highlighting. Now, for this this piece right here, his, his not antenna, they think they're called antlers. Um, you're going to take and you're going to only do that. You don't have to do the top part because the top part is going to be um, done on the ones that we cut out. All right. So we're just going to mainly um, worry about the underneath part. All right. So here we go. Again, over here, just kind of dab it around because we're going to blend in a little while. Just let's get that color on there. All right. And we can go back and forth. I might as well do him while we're, while we're at it. <clears throat> Start with his ears, okay? And then I'm going to just do a little bit. Leave, leave the uh, middle part open, but we can also erase that if we need to, all right? And we'll come back and get some, get some more detail on that, all right? So now what I need to do is to just clean this off, and I'm just going to rub that onto my um, onto my paper towel, okay? And we're going to go on to our next color right here. Now, if you want real de detailed, so I use the very tip of it, just like this. I just use the very, very tip of it, and then I can get into very detailed spots. So I want to start a little bit with his ears. Uh, let's go up to, uh, let's just finish up his antlers up here. So what I'm doing is I'm just coloring inside where I think should be some shadowing and darker spots. And then I'm just going to push it forward. And what I mean by that is I'm going to take it here and I'm just going to push forward. All right. If I want to take some off, I'm just going to rub it off onto my paper or onto my paper towel and bring in a little bit more white or lighter color. That's the pumpkin bread. All right. So I'm working with dark roast and pumpkin bread pan pastels. And there we go. Now, you're saying, but she's coloring outside the lines. Well, hello, we have erasers, okay? Um, you can get this eraser. It's just a kneadable eraser. And uh, you need to have a kneadable eraser, all right? So what I'm going to do is, this is what I love about pan pastels. If you don't like it, you can erase it. All right, so I'm just erasing where I went outside the lines, and your your piece is going to look absolutely gorgeous. All right, if you put a little bit too much dark and you want to lighten it up, you can do that also by just taking some of the color off. All right, and then we'll go back and we'll add it a little bit. Okay, and this is I'm doing this on purpose just to show you. All right, I'll add a little bit more light up here. Okay, a little bit of dark right here. And we'll wait until we get the rest of it put on to make sure that we've got enough shadowing in there. And again, if you're getting into the little, the little crevices and the details, make sure you use the tip of your little sponge right here. Clean that one off, and then I can just brush it in. Alrighty, so we're going to leave that until I put the other antennae, antlers, big horns, okay? Wait until I put those things on the top. Now I'm just going to work on the rest of it over here. All right, so grab this, kind of put it on here, all right, and then just flatten it out. What I mean by that is I'm flattening out the brush or the, the, the little tool here, and it just blends everything together so nicely. <clears throat> I have allergies, um, and this is the time of the season where they're, they're cutting hay around here for the horses. This is big horse country here, and uh, I'll tell you, it's really um, grabbing a hold of my throat. <laughs> I don't have a cold, just a, a, raspy, a raspy voice. All right, so now let me just bring in a little bit more of this. So you could play with this all day long. <laughs> I just love to color. Love, love, love to color. All right, now if I've got a little bit of spot where I want to take some off, to let in some light, you know, because that's where the, the light hits the top of it. And trust me, people, I am not an artist. I just like teaching people how to look like an artist, or sort of, kind of, maybe a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit more up on the top of his head, right there, and then just bring it down. Blend it in very carefully. Blend, blend. Okay, alrighty, so he's done. Now, Remember I told you that you have to cut, you have to uh, stamp on an extra piece of paper and cut them out. It's much easier to color before they are cut out, 
okay? Um, but I wanted to cut them out so that you didn't have to sit there and watch me cut them out. All right, so what I'm going to do here. Now, because these are the top parts of them, we're going to have a lot of the light color. And I've never colored when they've been cut out before, so this could be very interesting on your part. All right, so I'm just going to shade the whole thing in with the light color. And then I'll go back and add some of the dark color to give it dimension. Oh, this is so funny. Holding on to his big horns here. Okay. Alrighty. So, we've got that light color in there. Now let's go back and add a little bit of dimension by adding some of the dark. Okay, so we're adding some of the dark roast. And you don't want to put too much on because otherwise it's going to look like you have no dimension. Alright. So now what I'm going to do is take this side where it has absolutely no color on it and just run it forward. Do you see the difference between the two of them right here? I didn't put a whole lot on, just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of, of dimension. All right. If I made a mistake, all I have to do is take some color off, which I will in just a moment. Not that I made a mistake, but just because I want to have some more highlights in there. And that's what I love about the erasers. All right. You don't need a needed, you don't need a needed eraser. Um, you can use just a white eraser. And one of my very good friends gave me one of these cute little things. Just came from like, I don't know, Walmart. Um, and, and all you have to do is just take off some of the color. All right. There we go. There we go. How do you like that? All right, and then I'm just going to add a little bit more of the lighter color right there. All right, so I think we have everything colored. Okay, I can play with that again after it's on there. But for right now, we're just going to stop because I love to color and we could be here all day long. All right, so let me get my, my little horns or big horns or antlers or antennas or whatever they're called out of the way. All right, so we have that piece right there. Now, basically, we just have to put the whole thing together. But I've got a little surprise for you um, for decorating him. I'm going to take my card base and add to it my pomegranate splash background. And you know me, I love to save paper, so I just um, cut out the middle and I'm going to use that for another project. I'll take my Easy Glide and add that to the sides right here. Okay, and then add that right there. Okay, let's see. Grab it up just a hair. Okay. I've already got two cards done for Christmas. All right. So you do know that um, with this, we will have to add extra postage. When you're doing things that have um, embellishments like these, you do have to add extra postage, but these are extra special people that you're going to send these to, correct? Okay. So now what we're going to do is just add my antlers. And these are very tiny antlers, so we're going to need the very tiny foam squares right here. Okay, and let's just grab these. Now, even for these right here, you might have to cut them down just a little bit. Um, but we have our, uh, where did I put them? Here they are. Our non-stick self-sharpening scissors here, so don't even worry about um, cutting anything that is sticky with these scissors. All right, the best on the market is what I'm going to tell you. All right, see, so I just have those two right there. And I think I will add another one over here. No, nope, I think that's, eh. Yeah, let's just add a little one right there, too. At the very end, I'm going to add one more. Okay, so let me just grab this one right here and add it to the back. Is that small enough? Yep, there we go, good. All right, now just take off the stickiness to it. And we're going to start popping them onto the, um, I think this is a moose, not a reindeer. Can you tell I'm not a hunter? All right, these are my dead heads. All right, so this one goes right here. All right, right there. Isn't that cute? Oh, my goodness, so cute, so cute. Okay, I lost, oh, there it is. <laughs> I lost my other antler. Okay, and then here's this one. And I think I'll cut one more little guy right here with my non-stick self-sharpening scissors. Okay, so there we go. All right, so take these off right here. Can you see what I'm doing? Am I in the camera? No, I'm not. Okay, so I just took those off, and I'm going to add that onto my little piece right here. 
And now remember, um, these are in our catalog, the little the little trim. So I'm going to add something that's not in our catalog. And I don't normally do that, but I just think that this is going to make it look so adorable. I had these in my craft room, and um, they just popped out at me. So I'm just going to add some little tiny... Um, mini lights and I just think they're the cutest things ever okay so here we go let me just get grab my mini glue dots here and I'm gonna put one I love these glue dots on these little pieces of paper because you can put them anywhere you need to when you need to all right so there's one and where's the other one here we go here we go ready 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 here we go <laughs> And there is our little guy right here. I think I'll wrap that around there. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? <laughs> I make myself laugh. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my post for today. Remember, if you want this bloom box, if you want this stamp set, make sure you get it before the end of August. This is the August 2016 um, bloom box, so grab it today. Um, you know how to get a hold of me, and if you have any questions, please give me a buzz. All right, take care, and have a great day.